Welcome back. Canada's real estate market may be overpriced and could be headed for a brutal correction. And that's according to the International Monetary Fund and several economists. House prices in Toronto and Vancouver may rise a little or stagnate this year, but the outlook for Montreal isn't that optimistic. Analysts are predicting a 5% drop. And as Christian Yeo reports, that is many overseas buyers very interested. Montreal, with its historic architecture and French culture, is a North American city with European flair. And a chateau here could cost less than you think. While house prices grew around 5% in cities like Toronto and Vancouver last year, Montreal flatlined with growth that amounted to less than half of 1%. Political uncertainty and a weaker jobs market has made Montreal the ugly stepsister in the family of Canadian cities. But wealthy foreigners are snapping up property at the upper end of the market. Vancouver and Toronto have been Canada's housing hotspots this past decade, but projects like this are helping Montreal attract more international buyers. In the first half of last year, around half of all Montreal homes worth a million dollars or more were bought by foreigners. Prices per square foot are hundreds of dollars cheaper here, and along with a unique atmosphere, make a compelling proposition for a wealthy owner-occupier. Montreal is a very unique city in that it is Canadian, it's a Canadian city, but it's very, it has a European flavor. Great lifestyle, it's both business and great restaurants and a lifestyle city and it's a cheaper market than the rest of the Canadian cities to invest in. Montreal has begun seeing a building boom, including this 50-story development downtown. But the gold rush of real estate speculation that drove up prices elsewhere in Canada has yet to make its way here. The interesting thing about Montreal versus perhaps Toronto and Vancouver is that some of these condo projects, uh, typically in the Toronto and Vancouver market, you always get the high, high percentage of investors, often 80, 90 percent of the buyers are investors. In Montreal, historically, you were lucky if you got 20% investors. It's potentially a risky investment. Montreal's vacancy rate, that's the number of homes standing empty, is more than Toronto and Vancouver's combined. And the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation predicts Montreal condo prices could drop by 5% this year. So Montreal housing may not deliver strong rental potential or short-term price gains, but when it comes to bang for your buck and a certain je ne sais quoi, for some at least, it's still a North American jewel. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Montreal.